Hello everyone and welcome back to Daedalus Plays Victoria 2 as the Empire of Brazil. Yes, we're back. Oh, yes, I, re I watched the previous video, no, episode number 14 I think, so this should be 15, about the thing with Bolivia and uh, it seems that the problem was that the CB became invalid. I, I added an annotation to the video just so you don't think that I'm just a clueless idiot. I actually did notice that that pop-up did show up. However, I still don't understand why the hell that, why the hell it became invalid. I, ju I just, I just don't get it. I don't understand. And now we have the problem that we wasted all that infamy on nothing. And uh, we might want to speed up this process and keep puppeting more nations. I want to puppet all the nations in South America, eventually. Great Britain was victorious in the war, and they're allied with, uh, besides their own like worthless little puppet states, they're also allied with Germany, so um, going against Colombia might be a terrible... Wait a second, they're in the sphere of the UK, but they're allied with France? Excuse me? Um... Uh, okay, um... I'm not going to pretend I understand what's going on there, which I clearly do not. So maybe we're going to puppet Peru instead. Can we actually release any more nations to burn off through our infamy? Because time is running out and I want to speed this process up. I want South America to be Brazilian. Well, they're not going to be Brazilian Brazilian. We're not going to genocide people. Maybe we actually will. Are there any undes undesirable minorities here? Holy crap, our population is... Uh way too multicultural. There's a genocide solution, but we do have to be in, in HP, de, genocide decision in HPM. It's not called, it's called the final solution, I think. Decisions. Naval release, release vassal, cisplatina, national banking act. Where is it? I remember seeing that event, unless this was changed. Release vassal, blah, 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 blah. where is it? Hmm. Maybe it'll show up once we um, become fascist. But there is a decision in HPM, as I recall, to purge uh, minors, mi minorities in your nation. Maybe we'll do that just for the flavor, right? Gabon. Who can release? Congo is too good to release. Cuba with a K. Loango. Luba. Madagascar. Who might release Madagascar? No. Madagascar. Well, they do have coal, but. If they're, our, if they're our puppet, we're still going to keep their coal. They're just going to not be controlled by us. And there isn't much that I would want from Madagascar. There isn't much there. The, the pops are kind of crap. I can't recruit any soldiers of Madagascar. Yeah, let's just release Madagascar. I, don't, I couldn't give a rats about Madagascar. You are free. In quotes. Uh, what about those soldiers that were there? Are they still there? No, they became Madagascar soldiers. We're now down to 15. I might want to just wait and burn through infamy. Treaty of Moscow. We have lost the war and like vultures, the victors have descended upon us. We have been forced to the bargaining table to accept humiliating terms, recording the breakup of our empire. With many of our lands simply given away and we shall be permitted no overseas holdings whatsoever. Holy crap, this is a moment that shall be remembered the Russian Empire for years to come. Portugal wants their alliance back. Okay, fine. So, do they lose anything? They don't have any overseas... Oh my lord. Okay! <laughs> British Kamchatka! Okay! Uh, it's not as bad as Siberian, uh, like Portuguese Kamchatka, like often happens in U4, which uh, triggers me and makes me want to hang myself every time I see it. But this is pretty disgusting. I, I'm, I don't approve of it. Confederate Communists. Come on, CSA, get your shit together. Good lord, Kamchatka. We can actually influence Kamchatka? Oh, that's funny. This is hilarious. Oh god, these borders are like <laughs> this non contiguous. I'm gonna hurl. This is gross. Oh look at that! Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania exists, Belarus exists, Ukraine exists. What about France? Did they not uh, press for the dismantle? Apparently they did not, because they still have French cores and stuff. French uh what how did... 
Excuse me? When did this come up? Did the Amer Is there a decision that allows the Egypt to give away the Sudan? Because this is part of Egypt. <sighs> I look away for one second and this should happen. Turkmenistan. Alright. Looks like all these other uh, little Russian states that were part of Ro voting rights rescinded. Okay. Moldova also exists. Advanced ore smelting. Very good. Fume. What the hell is Fiume? Fiume. I don't know how to pronounce that. Fiume. Fume? Fume. Where is... Where are you? Where are you? This... This is a nation? Well, um, okay. I, I didn't know that this was a nation at any point in history. Tajikistan? My god, there's so many nations. New nations in the world. This is... You go... The Yugos are there. Albania, my god, this is just looking gross. I hope that Yugoslavia... Yeah, Yugoslavia is just gonna slaughter the, the Austro-Hungarians. Crimea is a separate nation. Well, this is certainly an interesting turn of events. Ukraine does not have the Crimea. Men for the colonies. Oh, of course, of course. Support the idea wholeheartedly, please. Populate the colonies. We need to add some of them. Cash crops. Alright. What else happened here? Uh, this still looks pretty much the same. This is part of Scandinavia, of course. Finland isn't free, though. This is a... Uh, I don't like that. I wish Finland was free. And I wish that France had gotten its empire dismantled. I hate that. Alright, let's see if uh, we can fabricate a claim on Bolivia now. They're still invalid. Is it because they are uh, in France's sphere? Maybe? Perhaps? I have no idea what just happened. Well, Venezuela would be a good target because they are part of uh, France's sphere, but... Uh, what? Is it because they're in their sphere and we can't do that? I would think that you'd be able to do that. Ah, fine, let's just puppet Peru. Dissolve Alliance. Nice, very, very nice. Bolivia, okay. We have now combustion engine. We should be able to get uh, car, uh, automobiles rather soon. Need more extra commerce. Historical theory input. Let's get maximum government internet. Or maybe not. Maybe we want... We don't have gas attack capability yet. Let's get steam turbine ships. I want to try to get dreadnoughts. I think we also have to upgrade some more naval bases. I think. Or maybe not. This one's number three. Is Oh, this can be expanded. This one can be expanded. Oh man, our economy is so good now. We're back to normal. Our people, maybe, maybe it was indeed the war that was causing that upheaval in our economy. Wars after, are, after all, known for screwing up with world economies. Peru wants their alliance back. Too bad! No. You go away now. You become puppet now. You fuck right off, man. I want you in my... I don't want you to just be a... I want you to be. We, I want to be more than uh, friends, Peru. I want to be closer to you. What? Why? Why can't I? Excuse me. Why can't I? This is very, very strange. I was able to. Is there some sort of tech that doesn't allow you to puppet nations anymore, or are we at our puppet limit? Maybe that's the thing. Maybe there's a limit. No more war. For people who are tired of war, it would be difficult to get their enthusiasm for another time soon. So in the meantime, our ability to wage war will be very limited. Oh, I see, I see. Until 6th of July, 1910. So we can't do anything at all. Okay, let's get our alliance back with Peru then, whatever. We're going to get them back in our sphere as soon as possible. Because we don't want anyone else to snag them from us. And we're going to build railroads in our puppets. Because uh, it matters. 
I see. That's that's a pretty nasty series of events that it doesn't allow you to fabricate any CBs. I don't like that at all. And this is also the perfect, perfect time to... Uh... Oh, Finland has been released. Excellent. But they're so allied to the Russians. Ah, whatever. They're, they're, they're free. Wow. Uh, Europe definitely looks interesting. I'm, I would look forward to playing an HPM game as uh, Europe next time. I really like this mod. This is only my first. This is a. I've I've played with HPM before, but uh, this is my first time as a, f a playing a full game. I never played a full game of HPM, and I really really enjoy it so far. Wow, it's a really cool mod. I'm thinking of uh, doing another um, HPM let's play in the future. I'm thinking that maybe I'm gonna, if the sirens outside will allow me to talk. If uh, in the future I might try to play something like uh, the Papal States, perhaps, or maybe Sardinia Piedmont. Papal States is very fun because they're not very powerful in Italy, and it's it's super super fun to form. Uh, I, I like I, I loved uh, one of my favorite campaigns in Vanilla VK2. I remember was forming was forming uh, Italy as the Papal States. I love that. It was such a fun campaign. Because you start out so small, and then suddenly you own like this huge swath swath of Africa, and then you beat up Austria and Austria-Hungary or whatever. Oh, it's so fun! It's so so fun. I I love it. Italy is definitely one of the f one of the other more fun nations. My preferred. I think my number one favorite nation is. Oh, nice! I love this event. I think my number one favorite nation, though, to play in in uh, Victoria too. It the the title is gonna have to go to Austria because. Uh, I know it's a great power. It's a, it's, it can be a bit uh, less challenging than some other nations, but in terms of fun, God forbid anyone have fun. Let's get more ships. It's uh, the, I think the the trophy goes to Austria because you're in the center of everything uh, in Europe, and it's just it's so fun to be able to beat up other nations and be smack dab in the middle of it. You can't get away from conflict playing as Austria. Oh, come on. Excuse me, Scandinavia? Just just stop right there. You blobbing scum. This is just... This. Oh my god, come on now. Come on now. Okay, influence Honduras and Colombia. Okay. And Honduras. Oh, we can add to Sphere. Very nice. Cool. Oh yeah, they flipped. They're not a proletarian dictatorship. Oh, this is gross. The, the Scandinavian Near East, is that what it said? Dreadnoughts? Nice. Oh, oh god, this is this war. It's making me queasy. This is so strange. Oh come on now, Persia. You also allow slaves. Iraq. So I'm thinking of doing a rock playthrough as well sometimes to try. I know that Babylon, Babylonia or Babylon is formable. Ação integralista, state capitalism. Yes, we want to get more influence. We're getting a lot of influence with uh, fascism. How are we doing with party loyalty? Okay, good. The most populous states are under the influence of fascism. Let's keep influencing this. By uh, military, nice. Yeah, so that means that the majority of our um, the ma our most populated centers are all in favor, almost all in favor of fascism. There's very little support to other parties here. This is very good. So I'm gonna I'm because I want to get those free CBs eventually. Oh, thank Jesus! Finally, we can get another reform. Okay, what can I get? Trinket healthcare. Oh yes, please. I want to get healthcare. Healthcare is one of my second more favorites after education. Spain is bankrupt. Okay. I still like you, Spain. Don't worry. That doesn't get in the way. We can't. We can't uh, build shit in Spain. We can build stuff in Portugal, though. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna give them the gift of railroads. Have the gift. Of railroads, friend. It's all yours. What does the world powers look like? Ching, okay. People have their faith. 
they're moralists, right? Okay, yeah. Russia is no longer a great power. Did they flip governments? No, they're a secondary power. France is still a great power because they refused. You slimy asshole, France. They did not get dismantled. Oh my God! Come on now. In Scandinavia, this is this is awful. This is just horrendous, and nobody's aiding the Ukraine. Come on now, a Germany, you're allied to Ukraine. You should just go and help them with Russia. Oh, I think they do have a, a treaty. Uh, uh, truce, rather. Lazy fair. No thank you, friend. Fuck right off with that. I don't want it. Nice! Mummy found! Okay, we can upgrade the craft factories in Nordeste. Yeah. Let's get the fertilizer factory and the winery upgraded. I get the glass factory as well. Full citizenship. Residency. I want re residency is what the fascists support, but I'm still gonna keep su trying to support. Please don't build that factory. We're already, we're already full, and I want to get these electric gear factories to be more to have more people in them. Let's get some more craftsmen in here, Grande. Maybe clerks. Yeah, you, you, you are indeed in need of some clerks there. Nicaragua and Peru is back in our sphere, so nobody can mess with us. And Nicaragua back in our sphere after you changed flipped governments. Allied with Germ Germanium, state capitalism. State capitalism too strong. It's so good. Might build another factory here as well. Oh, great! We can get the airplane factories. So, what should we get here next? Yeah, let's get an airplane factory. What else? No, don't build that. We're already full here. Come on now, don't be stupid. Alright, that's a nice one. Sao Paulo. No, unemployment still, but some factories are full. Have some telephones, why not? There we go, that should do it for now. Russian, okay, the, yeah, the Russians are no longer, uh... They no longer sphere. They can't, they can't sphere anything, they don't have any puppets, so they lost the Ottomans as their puppets. The cause of freedom. An opportunity has arisen to fund the spread of democracy in a neighboring state. If discovered, this could start a diplomatic incident and gain us infamy. But if we do not act, we will be seen as abandoning those who live under the rule of tyrants. Liberals in Rio de Janeiro are calling on us to aid the cause of world freedom. Ohoho. Union. Hmm. I'll do it. We were discovered. Interesting. So we gained a little bit of infamy, and we do have a CB against Ching. Or or not. Or maybe they gained a CB against us, maybe. Yunnan. Where else Yunnan? Tibet. Where is is this Yunnan? No, this is Mongolia. Try again. I guess Yunnan is a province. In that. Oh, maybe they were getting integrated? Yeah, there is Yunnan. I think maybe they were getting integrated. And, uh... Then they just got swallowed up. Maybe that's what... I'm thinking that that's what happened. And more commerce. Maximum output would be great. Let's get some uh, better rail systems first. We're gaining a lot of money, and we're not even taxing our people that much. I love seeing that. And we're spreading railroads. The light of civilization shines on all. When is that stupid modifier going to end again? 1910? Let me just check again, lest I forget. Yes, 1910. Let's speed up a little bit, because not much is happening. Terrorism, terrorist cell. Oh, please. No Allahu Akbar in my country, please. Go Akbar somewhere else. You filthy terrorists. 
I know they're not all terrorists or Islamists, but uh, come on, I just I just like stereotypes. What can I say? What can I say? I just like stereotypes. I think they're funny. I don't think they're particularly 100% true, but they sure are humorous sometimes. Wow, we are really making bank. And I'm gonna. I think that HPM did fix some of the some things about the economy because I do remember having much more. Uh, in the matter of subsidies. When I was playing Brazil and Victoria to vanilla, I think that maybe there is some sort of fix that I'm unaware of because I don't know the technic the technical things behind HPM. But I'm thinking that the mod author did fix some things about the economy because the economy functions a little bit more smoothly a little bit more predictable sometimes in v2 it's just especially sometimes you'll be paying like 130 pounds a, a day for subsidies just for a lose one milk and see yeah very good you're paying like a, like 150 pounds of uh, subsidies for something stupid like a lumber mill I mean there should be plenty of demand for lumber because people are always building crap. So I don't I don't get it. Semi automatization automatization, yes please. At this point I don't I don't really see us Boma to coffee. Yeah sure, I can always use more coffee. Our capital is gonna handle this stuff. Lots of projects. So we're just gonna go crazy here and uh, pay for all these developments. That'll be cheaper in the long run as well because we won't, we don't, we won't be paying for the supplies. That is one thing that's good to, in, to get some cap, at least some capitalists in at least your most populous states. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, gain consciousness, yes please. Consciousness is a good thing at this point. I would want them. Not a whole lot though, but it's good to have some. But yeah, as I was saying, it's good to have some capitalists, not a whole lot. You don't need a whole bunch unless you're a unless you're a democracy. Okay, assassination. We must defend Brazil interests no matter the cost. Dismantle nation. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Have some. Hmm. Can we ally with Japan for this? Negative 85, too many alliances. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to ally with Japan. I would love to go to war with the, with Qing because they're weak, their tech is shit. We are allied with the FSA. They're, we are both allied with the FSA. Scandinavia, I don't worry too much because who, who cares? I mean, Scandinavia, they crap. A sack of shit, an upstart. Who do you think you are? And Tanu to the. Okay. Great power. Hey. Will anyone join this war? Let me see. Uh, Scandinavia unlikely, free states impossible, which means that they may join against us. Hmm. I don't want to get and fit all up in arms with the FSA. What are you like? We're pretty much the same militarily, I think. They're better than us overall. Uh, 225. Yeah, they're better than us militarily. Uh, this is all because they have all the industry here. This is like they, they inherited all the best part. They got all the best parts of the USA because of us. <laughs> we did this. You should be uh, prostrating before us, US FSA, you piece of shit. We allowed you to be this powerful. Push for lazy fare. No, go go get the fuck away from me. All soldiers lose militancy. Okay, cool. Uh, 1910. Okay, I think uh, the, the modifier go away. Politics. Yep, it's gone. Okay, perfect. 
Perfect. Is France still weak? Oh yes, they're very... 16! Oh my god! That military power is just abysmal. Oh, we do have an alliance with Germany. I forgot about this. Oh, and Italy flipped again. They're now a presidential dictatorship. They don't catch a break. At least they're not communist anymore. Oh, this might change. Though I would prefer to go to war again. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a CB against Bolivia. Make puppet. Don't get detected. 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 Whatever you do. Bohemia Moravia. All right. Wow, that was very quick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is the Czech Republic. Wait a second. This is Bohemia. Oh, I guess they are the Czech Republic now. Oh, come on now. My diplomats have to learn to be... They're, they're about as sneaky as a... There's a bunch of badgers in a sack. Jesus Christ. I like Lithuania's uh, port. It's so cute. It's like a little funnel here. Who's this? Zanzibar. Wait, aren't they our puppet? No, they're not our puppet. We, we did release them, didn't we? Wait a second. Did I release Zanzibar? I released Tukulur, Madagascar. I hate you, Britain. Why are you so fucking greedy? You want everything. You want every single goddamn piece of shit colony in the world. Oh, God, I hate them. I hate the Brits. Piece of shit. They're always taking stuff. Let me guess. They're number one in the world, aren't they? Yep, they're still number one. They didn't do shit this whole game besides take, uh, take colonies. They're always number one because they just these disgusting fucking borders. Talk to the Free States of America is stalling and just too many issues remain between our nation and prove relations more than marginally. Alright. Max out relations with Germany. Nice. Bhopal. We did build... oh yeah, okay, good. We can also expand forts because we have uh, oodles and oodles and oodles of money. Let's reinforce our coastal defenses first of all. Oh yes, more naval bases, of course. Can't forget about those. Need to have some good coastal defenses. Alright. Prepare yourself, lads. Here we go. Oh man, our economy is so strong. Albeit, I'll, I'll, I'll grant, our army our army isn't, like, super, super strong. But then again, for what it's worth, our economy is very strong. If you're able to... That's one of the tests of having a strong economy in Vicky 2. If you're able to fund your army 100% uh, in the terms of supplies, not in terms of military spending, because as I learned from one of my commenters, thank you, I, f I always keep forgetting your name because it's a... Uh, Three letters and I think four numbers, L, F, C, something, something. You, you all asked me to call you Joe in the comments, so I'm just going to call you Joe. As a commenter, Joe, slash the other name that I always keep forgetting, taught me you no need to raise your military spending above 60%. So, yeah, now we're able to make a lot of, make bank while funding our national stockpile, which is what matters for uh, organization slash morale. Go to hell, Bolivia. And if France joins, we're going to call Germany. Yeah, France joined. Prepare to die, you sack of shit. You want a piece of this? Have a truce with France. Ugh. No. Unacceptable. You also have a Fra truce. A France. You also have a France. Yep, that's exactly. Bolivia, we're at war with Colombia. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> suit yourself, you sack of shit. You're not going to be able to scratch. Put a scratch on me, you ass. You can't touch me, Columbia. You ain't got nothing, friend. We should really build more ships. We can't build dreadnoughts yet, but we can build more battleships. And cruisers. Oh, no, not... not that many, okay. 
we are going to get rid of our iron clans and uh, commerce raiders after we get after we finish building that stuff because they're pretty outdated and they're useless at this point oh my god they're so expensive look at that we're just my god the amount of money required to make these ships is so much all right move out Move out, maggots. Ecuador is our ally. Hey, you want, a, you want a piece of this? Unlikely. You want a piece of this? You want a piece of this? Maybe? Ugh. 15% more liberal. All middle strata become... Uh, yeah, sure. I don't mind them becoming liberal. We're supporting a lot of fascists on the way. Reactionary, only 7% of the upper house is fascist, uh, only 7% of the population is fascist, so this will increase over time. Oh yeah, we're not getting fascists here. Okay. Mato Grosso, Grand Para. What is their most underpopulated? Sao Paulo already finished. Maranhão, Grand Para. Okay. Keep supporting those fascists. Can win, bro. Just capitulate. Peru wants their alliance back. Okay, you sack of shit. We're too good for you. We don't want to join your bloodthirsty wars. No blood for oil. Blah, blah. Come on now. War is good for you. Keeps you healthy. Rebellion and our ally. One infamy. Relation to Nicaragua. Again, add to sphere. Uh, yeah. Gunboat diplomacy. Declare war. Atmosphere. Send ships. Our ships may not be the best, but they're better than the Nicaraguan and Colombian navy, so I'm not too scared. But uh, could just stay here. Where is there a capital? Is there a cap is there a, is there a capital landlocked? No. Okay. So I want to block it. Oh, let me check the timer. I think I'm over time. Yep. Yeah, I'm just on time. So we're going to continue this war next episode, but for now, thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate your presence, and remember, if you enjoyed this episode, please do remember leaving a like and subscribing. It helps the channel to expand and helps to get more nor notoriety on YouTube. Thank you very much, guys, and have a great one. Goodbye.